Hello YouTube, today we have a special treat for you. I'm going to show you how to get highlighted cursor in Camtasia Studio 2020. Alright, let's get started. Let's head over to Camtasia. We're going to start a new project. Oh, Select a new project, mine's loading. Okay, so first thing we need to do is import the media that we want to get highlighted cursor on or highlighted mouse pointer. So I'm going to select import media from the little add button. Make sure you have the media tab selected before you do this. Okay, so click the button, click import media in Camtasia Studio. I already have a pre-made clip for this, so I'm just going to import that clip that I recorded earlier. Okay, so now you can see under the media tab, inside my media bin is the clip I imported. I'm going to take that and drag it down to the timeline. Let me first show you that the media clip in my bin that I pre-recorded was recorded without cursor effects. Okay, so you can see the mouse going around on the screen and it does not have any highlighting around it. Now let's proceed to add cursor effects in Camtasia Studio 2021. With the media in my timeline, I'm now going to go up to where it says cursor effects, click on that. And then there are a couple different choices for giving your cursor a different effect. I'm gonna choose highlight, left click, and drag that down to the track you wanna apply the effect to. Let go, and it says over here the effect has been added. Now let's play the clip. Okay, so you can see on the media, I now have highlighted cursor, and if I want to, I can also add different effects to left and right click. Right now, highlighted cursor just highlights the area around the mouse, so it's easier to track. Let's add some cursor effects to the left and right click. Okay, so I'm going to add rings. So now when I left click, the rings will be shown. And then to the right click, I'm going to add a target. So now anyone viewing this video will be able to see if I'm left clicking by seeing the red circles and then they will know when I'm right clicking when they see the target. Okay, so the effects have been added. You can go to show effects. And once you expand that panel, you can see all of the effects that have been added to the track. So we added target, which is on the right click, and then rings, which is on the left click, and then highlight, which follows the, the cursor around. Now let's drag to see an instance of the rings. So let's play. Okay, so you see there was a red circle when I left clicked. And then let's get a target. We know our target is a right click. Okay, and it's as easy as that, really. You just go into cursor effects, select the mouse pointer. Uh, select which effect you want, then go to your left click, select whatever effect you want to apply to the left click, go to right click, and select and drag whatever effect you want onto any track. And managing them is pretty simple as well. Um, you can hide and unhide the effects. 
If you want to remove an effect, you can just left click on the effect and go up here under your properties panel and you can use the X to remove it. If you don't have the properties panel like I do on the right, you can click the properties button. So the properties button will toggle on and off this panel on the right that shows you any effects or behaviors that you've added to any tracks or audio in your timeline. Thank you for watching. Please remember to comment below, rate this video, and subscribe for more content.